Hey everyone, how you doing? Happy Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday. We are currently just sitting here, just got done eating. Uh, Haley and I just got done eating leftover taco meat from last night. We made us a little bit of nachos, just a little bit, not much. There's enough for us, put it that way. From the leftover meat. Um, It's okay, outside it's... I would say I think I looked in, looked in it was 55 so and the sun's out so it's a little chilly but not too bad not too bad at all like it's going to be this weekend for Mother's Day and that's about currently what we are doing I'm going to make um, what I'm going to call is an all American hot dog because it's going to be loaded with everything oh, onion, bell pepper <clears throat> I've never really eaten bell pepper on my hot dog before, but I'm going to like saute them first. Pickle. I know a lot of people put relish, but I don't like relish. No form of relish. Dear, dill, relish, any of that kind of relish I don't like. Ah, oh, it's hitting it up my nails. So. so, that's what I'm going to call them. Maybe a little bit of cheese. Mmm, it'll be good. And they are, I got regular hot dogs and a uh, Chili cheese hot dogs. Yummy. Okay, and then last night, after I done video and got my video up, I decided to make some whole, look up a homemade chocolate chip cookie recipe and made them. And that looks a little dark in here. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. Um, maybe it's just me too. Sometimes that's what I do. I'll show you these cookies, guys. I posted them on my Facebook for y'all. Who you know? Look at them. Oh, and they're so moist. I, I got all these still. They're so moist and so delicious. They're really soft. I can't believe how they turned out. They turned out excellent. So, I'm going to Walmart soon. Sorry, I see something on my shirt. Um, Probably tomorrow. I'm going to Walmart tomorrow. And I'm gonna get the ingredients because I ran out of ingredients. I ran out of like chocolate chips, stuff like that. Mmm, so good. Ran out of chocolate chips, so, and I'm gonna make these for you guys on video. I wanted to try them first, make sure they tasted good. And then they do. And they are so good. You like them, Haley? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she says. <laughs> um, she was eating them, so I assume she liked them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not bad. Got my water. And I'm a Minute Maid Fruit Punch. I got six of these from Walmart. They got also in lemonade, too. Well, I'm kind of picky about my lemonade, so it's like, mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> That's what I have for breakfast, two cookies. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be nice this weekend so I can get my outside stuff done. Oh. It's what it is, can't help it, right? And I got a couple other things I'll show you. Let me get them. Okay, guys, this is what I wanted to show you. Is it this adorable? I just love it. Look at the pink in there. You could put in whatever color flowers you want. And here's from the side. Isn't this so adorable? What do you guys think? Let me know. 
And then here's the other side. See, this, hey, the flowers aren't as full, so you could, you could tell that, you know, that side's the back side, or the front side. I mean, you could rearrange the flowers to yourself however you want them. I just, I never did mess with them. I just left them in there like so. But I think it's so cute. I just, oh, this is so adorable. Trouble with blue flowers in it, too. So let me guys think of it, and then I'll let you guys know who made them. They're handmade, so, yeah. I love it. I think it's so cute. And you could probably put anything you want in there, you know, your favorite kind of animal if you wanted to. Hot glue them in there. Whatever, you know. And then, she also made me this. Look, this is my favorite. This little turtle hanging on here. Isn't he so adorable? These flowers. Let's put that on there on this tin. So cute, so cute. Actually, they're supposed to be over here a little bit more because the line of the bucket. Like so. But once again, you could set up the way you want. I've never seen this pink. And it's kind of got like glitter in it. Glitter that don't come off. I like glitter as long as it don't come off. <laughs> but you guys know me. I love my pink. So what do you guys think of these two things? Honestly, let me know what you think. And we might have some up for sale. Mm -hmm. You could do your quest of what you want. I know they don't look as good as if I showed them in the background of my kitchen, but still. They are adorable and I just love them. Love them. I'm trying to hold my camera out so you guys could get a good picture of it. Yep, these are made out of picture frames, as you can see. And I wanted to show you these. Got these light, these colorful lights in the middle today. Um, Haley's hanging them up in a room, around in a room. Once you get some hung up, I'll show you guys. They change multicolors, they flash, they blink, they, see here's all the colors and stuff. You set timer on them, sleep mode, you know, just all kinds of different things. So she got those, oh, I see a lot of kids on YouTube doing it, so. Haley's been wanting some forever. She usually hangs them up, Christmas lights up and stuff too, so. this out of the way. So yeah, you guys, uh, if you would please give me your honest opinion about this. Let me know what you think of them. Like I said, you could do different, I could do different colors, different flowers, different things in them, whatever. Guys, just let me know, please. Thank you. Okay, guys, I got the kitchen all cleaned up. Besides, I got these pans over here to do. And these are the buns we'll be using for our hot dogs. Because they're the best buns in town. The best buns in town. And I'm going to use... These Johnsonville chili cheese are the best hot dogs. Or, actually, they're smoked sausages, but I call them hot dogs. And these Parkview classic hot dogs. We're going to make these. And I really don't think I want to have nothing else with it. Like I said, I'm going to put cheese and stuff on top of it. Which I know. I know. Got comments about this cheese with sawdust and stuff in it. Normally, I shred my own, and you all know this. People watch my videos know this. Um, but I just picked it up for quick and easy because I didn't feel like shredding, you know, people do things like that. So normally I don't eat this, but this don't really seem like it's got dry and got the powdery on it. I also got some from Walmart. Um, oh, what do you call it? Mozzarella. And it, in the bag and it was just like it was fresh and the bag was like really sealed. Like there was no air in it at all. 
And like I said, this don't either. This don't seem like it has the... It's not dry and flaky. It's like really soft like it's shredded cheese. But anyways, you know, a lot of people don't eat what the best anyways. So I don't think it really matters. I mean, it does matter, but most of the time I shred my own. Biggest part of the time. I hardly ever buy, buy bag cheese. Unless I'm doing a lasagna or something, then I buy bag cheese because, well, you know, you have to shred a lot of mozzarella to do that. But anyways, this is what we're having for dinner. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm having. I've not had these in a long time, and I've had these in the fridge forever. And not even frozen, so. I definitely, definitely need to eat them. We do. But they're good to sell too, so. And that way, when I go to Walmart's, I can maybe pick up more if they have them. Meat's getting a little scarce around, so they might not. I do have a little bit of this cheese from the Amish. If it's good, it's been in there a minute, too. I'll heat it up to put on there. Oh, yeah, it says it's good till July 23rd this year. And I'm putting sliced pickle on it. And onion. So I can get cut last night for dinner. Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we're tacos. <laughs> That's what we're having. I might have some of them chips. We might have a few of those onion chips that I picked up too. From the Amish. Those onion ones. I don't think they really call them onions, but I've got some more light in here for y'all, so that's gonna be our dinner. Nothing special, nothing big. But it'll fill our bellies up. Someone in the comments was asking me about these chips. <clears throat> it's either onion flavored rings, original, by Walnut Cre Creek Foods. And I know it's an Amish, you know, company. So that's all they got on them right there. So onion flavored chips. They're so good. I love them. They're so soft. And they're yummy. So if you want to try them out, maybe look them up. They might they'll send us send you some. I'm not sure. If you don't have a place close by. They also do a lot of other kind of chips in here too, so not just these ones. See, we're out, of, uh, we're out of bananas and we're out of apples. I got my head of cabbage in here that I'm going to cut up. As soon as we go to the store and make Tim some coleslaw, something in that. <laughs> and Haley, because Haley likes homemade coleslaw too. Me, not so much. I don't like to dress it. And coleslaw. I never have really here, so we do need to go shopping. I'm probably going tomorrow. Walmart because I'm not going on the weekend because they're just too crowded. Hey guys, here's my hot dogs. Cheese, pickle. Pickle's on there somewhere. See so it's right. There it is. <laughs> Onion and I put some ketchup. And that's what we got. See, this cheese is so soft. I don't feel like it's hard to powder or nothing. Okay, guys. I'm gonna get off here and eat. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys all had a great Wednesday, like I did. I just got done cutting Max's hair. He looks so much better. And I hope you all have a good night. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, love you. Share, 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 share.